Water is the most important nutrient for living things. Lactating dairy cows have the ability to metabolize large quantities of water. Milk is made up of approximately 87% water. Therefore, getting enough water into cows is very important. Not only is the quantity of water important, but the quality of the water that the lactating cows must consume is important as well. Unfortunately, proper water management is often overlooked or underestimated on many dairy farms. This video will review many ideas in dairy cow water management including drinking behavior, facility designs and space recommendations, cleaning recommendations, water quality issues and testing, and types of watering systems. The total amount of water within the body of dairy cattle ranges anywhere from 56% of body weight for dry cows to 81% of body weight for lactating cows. This means that lactating cows contain more water in their bodies than dry cows. Lactating cows require more water for production than dry cows and heifers. There are four sources of water loss in dairy cattle, including milk, urine, feces, and evaporation. Determining the amount of water that is lost via evaporation is difficult, but still important and often overlooked. Cows lose water from evaporation by sweating, salivating, and through nasal secretions. In hotter weather, panting and sweating increases, which may increase the amount of evaporative loss, thus increasing the requirements for water intake. Cows that are under heat stress require 1.2 to 2 times more water than non-heat stress cows due to increased evaporative water losses. Winter water management should also be considered. It is important to check the water troughs daily to ensure that the water is not frozen and is still easily accessible. Don't forget to check water for calves and heifers in the winter to ensure that an adequate supply of unfrozen water is available to all animals. Cows will consume 4 to 5 pounds of water for every pound of milk they produce. A cow that is producing 60 pounds of milk will consume 25 to 30 gallons of water per day. Cows will drink approximately 1.5 gallons of water per trip to the watering trough at a rate of 1.3 gallons per minute. In total, cows will spend approximately 12 to 16 minutes of their day drinking and will make 24 trips to the water trough per day if she drinks 40 gallons per day. The current recommendations for amount of water space per cow are 2 to 3 feet of tank perimeter or one watering space per 15 to 20 cows. Water should be deep enough in the trough that a cow can stick her muzzle one to two inches into the water and drink without consuming any air. The recommended water depth should be six to eight inches of fresh water with minimal debris accumulation. For Holstein cows, the surface of the water should be no lower than two to four inches below the top edge of the water trough and the trough itself should be approximately 24 to 32 inches tall. Watering troughs should be located where they are easily accessible to the cows as they return from the milking parlor and should be able to accommodate the number of cows that are released from the parlor at a time. Keep in mind that the type of parlor will dictate how many animals are released at a time, so the water trough availability should be able to accommodate your specific needs. Cows drink 50 to 60 percent of their water needs upon immediate arrival after milking, so it's recommended to have one to two feet of trough space per cow released from the parlor at a time in the return alleys from the milking parlor. Also, the troughs need to be able to refill quick enough to match the drinking rate. Waterers should be located within 50 feet of the feed bunk and out of direct sunlight since cows will consume water in conjunction with feed. In order to ensure that proper water quality is delivered to a herd, water troughs should be emptied and cleaned regularly. The troughs should be cleaned with a household bleach solution consisting of one cup of household bleach per five gallons of water once per week. The bleach solution should be used for cleaning purposes only and should be removed and replaced with clean water after scrubbing has occurred. If the water presented to cows has an off odor or taste, the animals can recognize this. If the water is unpalatable to the cow in any way, she may refuse to drink or significantly reduce her intake. The most prevalent sources of abnormal odor and taste result from total dissolved solids, toxic compounds, and microorganisms. The term total dissolved solids refers to all of the inorganic material that is dissolved in water. In general, having a high total dissolved solid value is unwanted as it can be an indicator of poor water quality. Some of the inorganic matter that comprise a total dissolved solid value are calcium, magnesium, 
sodium, arsenic, bicarbonate, chloride, fluorine, nitrate, sulfate, and cadmium. Other common issues with regard to water quality are high levels of iron and sulfur. When iron concentrations in water exceed about 4 parts per million, water intake by dairy cows may decrease. If too much sulfur is present in the water, it may take on a rotten egg smell and may consequently reduce water intake due to the off odor. However, if water is high in sulfate, it may not have any odor but can still cause problems by reducing copper and selenium absorption. Oftentimes, microorganisms present in drinking water for cows are not a problem. However, there are circumstances when a population may thrive and cause a problem. One example is algae. If water is left under certain conditions such as warm, sunny weather, ample nutrients in the water, slow-moving water, and correct wind, algae can undergo exponential growth in a water source. Certain algal blooms, if consumed, can cause detrimental effects on the cow including weight loss, diarrhea, loss of responsiveness, weakness, and even death. It is important to keep waters clean and free of algae. In order to assess the quality of water, two steps can be taken. An alternative water source of ample supply can be supplied to a specific group of animals and intake measured. If the intake of this new supply of water is greater than the intake from the regular supply, there may be a quality issue. If the intake is found to be suboptimal, water samples may then be sent to a laboratory for chemical analysis. It is important to remember that oftentimes the best solution for providing quality water to lactating cows is regular cleaning of the water troughs. There are many types of watering troughs or waterers used on dairies today. All kinds of waterers are practical as long as they meet the recommendations previously mentioned and provide an ample supply of fresh, clean water to the cow. If the water that is delivered to the herd is found to be of poor quality, there are a few methods of removing unwanted contaminants including filtering, distilling, air stripping, and chlorinating. Plate cooler water may be a good source of water for cows as long as it is not delivered at a temperature that is too hot. The optimal temperature of drinking water for dairy cows is between 63 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. If given the choice, cows would prefer to drink water that is of moderate temperature versus water that is excessively hot or cold. Water is the most important essential nutrient for life, growth, lactation, and reproduction in dairy cows. Supplying animals with enough water is often overlooked and underestimated on farms today. Keeping water is clean, providing enough water trough space for all of the cows in the herd, maintaining proper water quality and temperature, providing enough water for cows exiting the parlor, and keeping waterers close to the feed bunk are essential tools for maintaining healthy, high-producing animals.